Good morning, savers. It's about six o'clock. Kind of misty and cool. About um, high in the, about fifties, high fifties, I guess. A beautiful morning. Still not summer, but it, uh, last night we went to the rodeo and actually had a sweatshirt and a jacket on. <laughs> it got sunny down there, which was really good. But we we're. Uh, Packing up and getting ready to head out to uh, Eagle Crest or Eastern Oregon around Ben Sisters and Redmond area and uh, just ready for a nice relaxing week vacation. So, um, cool. Uh, Savory thought for the day Nigel Hamilton Thanksgiving is a time for togetherness and gratitude. That's a beautiful quote. And I, I it's almost, it's kind of a I guess the whole purpose of this blog is, you know, we, we say that. It's like Thanksgiving. Let's look forward to getting together with friends and family. Let's, you know, really enjoy a good meal together. Or, uh, just enjoy a good meal. It's time of eating and kind of pleasure and relaxing and, and uh, postulating and, uh, you know, thinking back and thinking forward. A lot of things. Thanksgiving brings, but my challenge to, to me, and I'd love you to weigh in on this in the comments below, but my challenge to me is why am I not thankful and grateful and together, to, through togetherness every day? And so uh, I think the, the purpose of the morning walk is just to uh, set my mind in the way that I want it to be, not right or wrong. Don't need to set my mind right, but set my mind to uh, just really be aware of what's going on around us. That's the the flower thing is kind of freaking me out. I just notice so much more when I'm in the mindset to notice <laughs> things. I don't know. It's crazy. But uh, so thanks for joining me on the walk every morning. Love to have you ever here every day. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I'm thinking about, I guess, for the day. And um, I'm just grateful for you. So, love to hear your thoughts on the thoughts. <laughs> as crazy as this sounds. But, uh, no. So, we'll just be picking up a new phone. My phone's kind of freaking out and going weird. So, we'll be doing that today. Washing clothes, getting everything cleaned up at home. So, when we come home, uh, from a vacation. I don't know if you you all do that, but I like to have the house <laughs> as clean as possible. We do have a dog sitter coming in for the week, so be a little little not completely clean, but um, just ready to uh, take some time, make some space. I was just about ready to say good morning to Frank, and I saw another friend in the neighborhood. Sees us, he's gonna cut between those two houses. Or maybe eat a little something on the way. Between these houses goes down to the the creek. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. Heading back to the trees. Yeah, I'm out of the road. I think I'm safe. Let's see if Frank was here to see that. I know they're around, that's for sure. We definitely have deer tracks through the yard. There you are, Frank. How are you doing this morning? We're going to have a good day and just roam around with the uh, house sitter here. We are heading into the Italian Greyhound Rescue Fundraiser at Fido's Tap House in Tigard, I think it is. If you've never been here, it's really cool. It has a uh, uh, dog rescue, so he brings in dogs, and then in the actual restaurant tap house, um, you can sit and watch them through. It's kind of like rescue dog rescue TV um, through some windows and have a beer and have uh, lunch. Uh, you can come here and uh, 
rescue dogs. He brings a lot of dogs up from California, doing a great job, good mission, and good food, good beer, and uh, just a neat place. So I'll put a link in uh, to his website, and if you live in this area or want to support the mission, uh, definitely um, do so. Okay, get ready for some excitement. Hey. Well, hello there, guys. Hey. Are you... Now we have dog-focused uh, TV on versus sports bar. It's a dog bar. Good tap list here. And here's the dog TV. So you can sit and have a have dinner here or some drinks and just watch some puppies play. They're a little a little rested now. And then there's a really nice outdoor seating area. Very dog friendly. Need to get a release signed. Are they professionals? Yeah. <laughs> yes, who do we have here? That's Sophie. Sophie. She's 14. Uh -huh. Ours just turned 14 last weekend, I think it was. Yes, what do you think? <laughs> yes. Yeah, what a great place. I love that they have a dog-centered sports TV, essentially. Here's their, their menu, eat, drink, adopt, the bone. I love the name, Chihuahua Nachos. I Chihuahua Nachos. So they've got kids, uh, canines, so brown rice, chicken, a little teriyaki and peanut butter that kids would love that. The hound, the cretin, the hot dogs, German Shepherd. Pit Mastiff, hairless, the runt, awesome, very clever. He didn't know. Oh goodness! Dog food. It's <laughs> maybe a little human food with uh, dog hopefuls coming on here. Love the shirt. Thanks. <laughs> She's an old one, old mama. His two brothers are Italian greyhounds. That's baby C. And of course the shirt says, oh. my brothers are Italian greyhounds. Uh, I knew that. <laughs> and there's more. He's not an Italian Greyhound, but he's cute. Go, go get it. Oh, 
Hi, Jay.